stop worrying about tomorrow. You know, I, I'm in uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes on vacation, and I'm up on this huge sand dune overlooking Lake Michigan. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I, I don't have a tripod, so it's going to be a little bit shaky. But I'm sitting on the top of the sand dune, and I'm just thinking, how many people are worrying about tomorrow or worrying about the next day or the future? And when you worry about tomorrow and the future, you overlook the day. You, you don't think about what the, this day is about. And we tend to borrow trouble. We tend to borrow anxiety and worry. And the more you think about the worry and ruminate over the worry, it turns into anxiety. And that then anxiety will rule your life. It takes over your mind, it takes over your body, and it could really hinder and dampen your joy. It takes the joy right out of you. So stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop worrying about something that hasn't happened yet and focus on the day. Now, I know that's easy. That's easy to say, hard to do, I get it. But you really need to hear this. You need to hear someone tell you, look you right in the eye and say, stop worrying about tomorrow. I don't know if it's finances. I don't know if it's relationships. I don't know why you're worrying, but you need to stop today, right now. I know it's not easy. But you need to try to do everything you can to stop worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. Focus on this day and tomorrow will take care of itself. And really, when you stop to think about it, uh, if you can, if you're able to focus on this day, the day that you're watching this, you're probably worried about something, you're, you're, you have these, these inner thoughts that go around and around, obsessive thoughts that go around and around, and if you think about it, what would life be like if you weren't worrying about that, whatever it is you're worrying about? What if you stop worrying about that just for a moment? What about just for 30 seconds to a minute? So it's a gradual thing. It's, I'm not saying that you just stop instantly like that, but try to, try to think of it in increments. Try to challenge yourself. Maybe, maybe it's, uh, okay, I need to start focusing, center my thoughts and my body in the moment. So I'm gonna try for 30 seconds. And then you try a little more, maybe in a minute, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, maybe in an hour. So you're trying to build yourself up, just like um, building up muscle or wanting to, to, to lose weight. You do it in increments. You can't expect yourself to do it all at once. So you gotta build up to stop worrying. That's why it's frustrating when someone says, well, just get over it or stop worrying. It's frustrating because you can't do it right away. That's right, you can't. But try to think of it in increments, little by little, step by step, minute by minute, moment by moment, hour by hour, day by day. The more you can do that, the more you can build up that resistance to that worry, the easier it's gonna be. So I know I'm asking the impossible. I know it but you're not gonna be challenged if you don't hear something that seems impossible. If you don't try to do something that seems impossible in your life, you're not gonna go anywhere. And if you wanna get rid of worry, you've gotta do, start doing something that seems impossible. Work on it. You're gonna fail. There are gonna be times that you try and it's not gonna work. Don't give up. Don't give up from failing. Don't do it. You must keep going, and this is your motivation. This is your encouragement. I don't know where you're at. You might be watching this in, at night. You might be watching this at work. You might be watching this in your car, or on the plane, or on the bus. I don't know where you're watching this. I don't know your situation. But you've got to start challenging yourself to do what seems impossible, because you're not gonna grow. You need to hear this. And I hope it's been helpful. Uh, yeah, you're probably thinking, yeah, you have it easy. You're, you're, you're on vacation in Michigan. It is nice. I can't lie. But what I said was true no matter who says it. Remember that. 
So again, sorry for the shakiness. I know I don't have an iPod. <laughs> I don't have my, my uh, uh, tripod, uh, but I am just can't resist being up here because it's so beautiful, so beautiful in Sleeping Bear Dunes in Michigan. If you ever get a chance to go there, I recommend it. So I'm gonna go now, enjoy the rest of my day. I hope this has been helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below, uh, what do you think about what I just said? What I said is just, you've gotta do, stop worrying in increments, little by little, and work your way up. Let me know how easy or how hard that is. And if you have other ideas, put them in the comments for other people to read too. All right, I'm gonna take off, enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you have a good day. And as always, take care of yourself. Bye.